going on YouTube? Spencer AK74, I'm here. Got something new in the mail today from our glorious communist comrades, or our glorious communist overlords who control our bank system. <laughs> A Chinese chess rig. Um, this is the Type 81 chess rig. It was designed uh, for use for the Type 81 assault rifle, which is sort of a quasi-AK. When China started phasing out the Type 56 for a lot of their formations, they went to the Type 81. Um, the primary difference between this and all the rigs you'll see in any Vietnam War movie, photo, stuff like that, four magazines versus three. The Type 56 rig had three magazine pouches, but it was the exact same construction, exact same material, exact same color for the most part. Um, bought this rig off, or, excuse me, I bought this rig off of eBay. Uh, 20 bucks, I think it was 20 bucks ship. I have to look at my records real quick, but it was cheap. I wanted to get one of these just to have a minimalist rig. You know, carry enough ammo where... There's four magazines in here. It's 120 rounds plus 30 more in your gun. If you can't handle a slight social situation with 150 rounds, then... Get out. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, talk about some of the design features of this rig. It's really thin. This is probably an inch and a half thick. I mean, you're not going to be able to see it on here, but here, let me see if I can... It's thin, you know. <laughs> I could put this under a coat, you know, if it was cold outside. And... Yeah, I don't have anything under my coat, officer. <laughs> um, it was very light. It was very simple. There's nothing... There's no molly straps to get, you know, to screw with. There's nothing. I mean, you got four magazines and two small pouches that you could toss. I don't know, patches or, you know, I don't know. Oil bottle, grenade. <laughs> Those of us who have access to grenades. Um, but yeah, just a really nice rig. Uh, this is this and the Type 56 rig were encountered by the Soviets in Afghanistan during the early wars of the Afghan war, early years of the Afghan war. Excuse me. And the Soviets were like, hmm, those are nice, because when they went to war, the Russians didn't really have a chest rig. You know, they had a belt, and they had pouches. <laughs> and something they realized real quick is you can get down really low to the ground with these. I mean, it's so thin, you can pretty much, you know, hide. You roll around, you don't have to worry about, you know, this pouch ending up on your ass when you're rolling through the dirt. You know, if you do a somersault through the air, you know, if you're going prone, rice paddy prone, you know, just, Whoa! those pouches get in the way. This thing really doesn't. I mean, you can sit this thing up high, you just... Tighten the straps so you know if you're in an APC, you know, you're sitting there and it's. <laughs> you can sling it down low like I have it because I like my stuff down low. And whatever you want to do. And they copied that, the Russians did. They came out with their own vests, and the first ones were exact copies of these in every way, except they had Russian markings on them. I mean, they had the little wooden peg and button cl or, um, loop closures, everything. Then they started getting their own materials, and now today we have the. the uh, the Sposen rigs, the Splav rigs, Pioneer, so on, so on, and so forth. But they all started with these types of rigs. The reason why I got this, if I haven't talked about it already, I probably have, but I'm just repeating myself, so what the hell? It's minimal. I mean, dude, I mean, I could take this thing out hiking and just... I don't even know how it on almost. I mean, there's four loaded magazines in here. This thing is not that heavy. I mean, still, AK mags are heavy, but they're not that heavy. Especially when you only have four. So if you're out on a hike, if you're out just about and about... You know, in the woods somewhere, in the mountains, in the desert. Why not? You have 150 rounds, including the 30-round mag you should have in your gun. So, why not get one? But anyways, let me uh, untie this thing. The seller I got these from, is, <laughs> his name is awesome. His name is Ding Dong. I swear to God, that's his name. Ding Dong Fang from Beijing. Ugh. I'm trying hard to do this around my back. Ugh. Hang on, almost there. There we go. All right. They don't come with buckles on them. You have to tie them in the back, and that's one thing I'm gonna do because I know Urban Tiger 74 has fast deck buckles on his Tricom rig. Yeah, these are sold as airsoft rigs. That's Chinese military or police acceptance mark, so I don't think this is airsoft. Anybody who knows Mandarin? Translate that. So, anyways. There you have it. Type 81 chest rig. 
very minimal, very cheap. You'll have people on Gun Broker and on the forums try to sell these for 35, 40 bucks or at gun shows. Like, seriously? Go on to eBay and buy one for 20 bucks with shipping. But uh, my thoughts on it? I like it so far. I haven't taken it out. I'm going to. We'll see how it runs. It's nice, it's light, it's compact, it's slim. Doesn't add a lot of weight. And it gives you 120 rounds just right there. So we'll go talk to you later, guys. Get some more shooting videos out. Get the uh, final results of the lacquer versus steel and poly case. And all that kind of cool shit. Talk to you guys later.